Hello guys, Rob Bat one here, coming at you with my updated Odd Eyes deck profile for you. Now, honestly, I really love Odd Eyes. It's always been one of my favourite Pendulum archetypes, um, right next to Pendulum Magicians, uh, purely because Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon is just my favourite Pendulum monster of all time. Um, I've really loved how ever since it came out, it's just been that one Pendulum monster that I could always search. Uh, pretty much any Pendulum monster in the game with 1500 less attack. I love how it does double damage whenever it deals any battle damage. I just love everything about the monster. So, um... When the deck actually came out and it just kept getting more and more support, I was like, oh yes, thank you, Arc V Manga, for giving me more Odd Eyes support. So, um, today I thought, seeing as I haven't actually done a deck profile on this in a while, and I'm really more testing the uh, more casual side of Yu-Gi-Oh! and trying to make it a bit more competitive, trying to test other decks in the game right now, um, I thought I would show off my updated Odd Eyes deck profile. It's something that I really enjoy, it's got a really nice uh, little... Um, loop that can always guarantee you a negate pretty much thanks to um, this card right here uh, Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon and I just really like how consistent the deck is and just how really fun it is like honestly just having a level 7 based deck um, there's a pendulum deck and just going along all of that um, it, it's really really cool so without further ado though, let's actually get into the deck because I want to show off the deck a bit and give you guys some you know just give you guys a bit of knowledge on the deck in general so without further ado let's get into it so starting off we play three of the best scale 8 in the deck uh, Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon he is the best uh, pendulum monster in the deck pretty much um, for Odd Eyes for the pure fact that whenever an Odd Eyes monster is destroyed by any way you can special summon an odd eyes from your hand deck or graveyard so what this basically means is if you have something like odd eyes vortex that has been correctly fusion summoned um you can always infinitely bring back odd eyes vortex to the board if it dies so you can always have that you get an instant compulse whenever you want and you also have <laughs> literally an infinite negate, making sure you have a negate every turn, slash, an in, slash compulse whenever it's summoned back. So it's just, this is the best All Eyes monster in the deck, and without this card, the deck wouldn't really function as well as it actually does. So this card is actually just really strong for that fact. Um, next, the original Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. You want to be playing this at free. Well, it's the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, yes. Um, the original Odd Eyes is something completely different. Um, but this card is actually really strong as well in the deck, seeing as what it does is, during the end phase, it can search an Odd Eyes from your deck to your hand. Uh, sorry, not an Odd Eyes. A Pendulum Monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. Um, and then its actual monster effect is just really good as well, where it, any battle damage it deals is doubled. So... This uh, this deck is primarily like an OTK big damage control deck at times. So you control with like the Vortex if you go first, um, and then you do the big damage with the Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon if you go second. So you you primarily want to kind of just kill your opponent as soon as possible, and this card allows you to just get that big damage in as well. So just really, really nice. You have to be playing free of pretty much of all the big Odd Eyes as well for the fact that they're the level 7s and they're the ones that you're going to primarily be making into like maybe XC's plays, Link plays, anything along those lines. Just so you can go ahead and get the big damage in and then just go ahead and go even further than that so yeah uh next we play three odd eyes uh phantasm dragon um uh, this card is actually really interesting for the archetype for the fact that uh whenever an odd eyes monster declares an attack um <clears throat> Involving a monster your opponent controls, uh, that odd eyes monster gains twelve hundred attack until the end of the skit, until the end of the battle phase. If it's in this card is in the pendulum zone, but what this card is really good for is when it attacks um, and does damage. It do, for, if you have two odd eyes cards in the pendulum zone, it can deal twenty four hundred extra points of damage. So that means extra more, extra damage with the odd eyes on board um, to get your opponent even lower life points, and also. Uh, gives you the access to allow you to get to game a lot quicker and that's what you want to do you want to get this get, get to game as soon as possible and this card allows you to do a lot more damage so 1200 if you've got one 2400 if you've got two that's a guaranteed at least um 2400 damage as long as you've done uh as long as you've inflicted battle damage to your opponent either by a direct attack or an attack on a monster so this card is actually really strong in that fact as well um next we played two uh perform power odd eyes minotaurs um this card this card really does help the deck a lot because this is the card that will say um, your Odd Eyes monsters deal piercing damage. Now, what you need in this deck to get basically guarantee you can get uh, the damage in with stuff like uh, your Odd Eyes Phantom and Dragon to gain the extra 2400 or your Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon to get that double damage is you need a way to do piercing damage. And what this card actually does is it gives you that ability to do piercing damage. Now, 
Uh, this is the now the reason we're playing a two is mainly because of that reason and for the fact that if you can't deal your piercing damage or you can't deal any damage because your opponent has a ton of defense position monsters, um, this card will just allow you to break through that and just allow you to get to where you want to be. So you can be able to deal that damage. So you really need to be playing this at least two. Um, I tried it at three. I didn't really like it at three. I feel like it's more of a two because it, it, even though it is a scale six and you'll primarily want to go for sixes and uh, you primarily want to go anywhere between seven um, for, from seven and down. Um, literally, as long as you can summon level sevens, the deck is good. Um, uh, it, it's not really that great if you see multiple, so you really only want to see two of this card. Plus, it's searchable in the deck because there's just so many ways to search odd eyes cards in the deck that it's actually unbelievable. So, this card is a two of though. It's really important for the deck just being able to deal piercing damage, and it gives that ability to all odd eyes and performer power monsters if you are playing performer powers in the deck. Um, next, we're playing one uh, performer power odd eyes dissolver. Uh, this card is really, really good as well um, for the fact that in the scale, uh, it's just a polymerization, so you can fusion uh, from your extra deck. Uh, so you can special summon fusion monsters by using fusion materials from your hand and field. Um, but while it's on the field, which is the really good part, because no normally on turn one you're going to be summoning it with the Pendulum Arc Dragon, is uh, this card it can be fused itself um, and another uh, Pendulum Monster on the board to go ahead and make you your Odd Vortex Dragon, which you really really need to do on turn one so this card essentially just says i'm going to make my auto vortex i'm going to potentially compose something if i'm going second or i'm going to just have a negate to stop you from being able to do whatever you want so this card is very very strong um and i really like it and the good thing about this deck is you don't even need your pendulum summon half the time because uh as soon as you've got arc brave on the board and you're able to consistently get to your other plays uh to kind of play around your opponent uh you're you don't really need to pendulum summon like the pendulum summon is just an add-on for this deck it's like because thanks to thanks to pendulum arc, arc pendulum dragon um you just really you don't even need your pendulum summon half the time and thanks to cards like dissolver it just allows you to get to vortex a lot easier so really really good cards just just help a lot so yeah just really nice cards uh, and we also play one other scale eight we're only playing four scale eights in the deck because we have just so many ways to search them um search monsters in the deck that we don't really need a load of different scale eights uh but you just in case you do want to play one mirage dragon and the reason we play one mirage dragon uh is one he's scale eight obviously and two because he's searchable with odd ice pendulum dragon um pretty much uh at times if you do draw an odd ice pendulum dragon and you don't really have a way to play the game um you do need that way you, you can just destroy odd eyes at the end phase to search your mirage dragon so then that way you can have a play for the next turn um now sure that isn't really good in the current game of Yu-Gi-Oh, but uh, at times that does happen, and if your opponent doesn't kill you through that through that turn, um, then you can survive, and then you can just go ahead and place the scale A, go ahead and pendulum summon as many monsters as you want from your hand or extra deck. Uh, most likely one from your extra deck, uh, if you've done nothing. Um, and then just go from there. So it will be really useful if you have this card in your deck. I wouldn't suggest playing this deck without it, just for the pure fact. Being able to search a scale A is important, and it really does come up at times. Um, and the last Odd Eyes monster we we're actually playing is one Performer Power Odd Eyes Synchron. Um, and the reason for this is you can target an Odd Eyes or Performer Power and turn it into a level 1 tuner. Um, it basically gives you your level 8 synchro plays, and that's about it. Um, that You only really use it for its scale effect. Its m monster effect is okay, um, That it can, because when it's normal, uh, <laughs> um, if this card is special from the extra deck, if it is used as a synchro material, uh, sorry, ban it, banish it. So that's not what I wanted to read. Uh, when this card is normal special normal summoned, you can target one level three or lower. Perform power monster or odd eyes monster in your graveyard. Uh, special summon it, but it has its fix negated. Um, and once per turn, you can target one card in your pendulum zone, special summon it, but it has its effects negated, and if you do, immediately after this card resolves, synchro summon one monster. So, pretty much, you're never going to really use the monster effect. Maybe you'll summon Mirage Dragon if it ever ends up in the graveyard with this card, but I don't really play any other performer power monsters of level 3 or lower, or Odai's monsters, so... It's not the monster effect you're using this for, it is the uh, pendulum effect you're using it for, like... You don't really use it for its actual monster effect. You just want to be able to turn uh, your big, your other perform powers and odd eyes into tuners, and then make level eight synchro plays. So that's about it. But you would, I would never play this deck without like one of this card because it's just absolutely insane in the deck. Um, next, we play a uh, free Supreme King Dark Worm along with uh, two uh, Gate Zero. Uh, the reason for this is um, that Gate Zero uh, is a level seven. 
Dark Worm is a free monster that you can summon. And also, if you've got, <laughs> if you've got, uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, if you've got, um, if you summon Dissolver off Arc Dragon, or if you're going to summon Dissolver off Arc Dragon, what you can literally do is you can send your Dark Worm to the graveyard via something like Dragon Shrine, Foolish Barrel, anything along those lines. Uh, summon it out, search the Supreme King Gate Zero, which is a zero scale as well, so it does help in that category too. Um, and then you can just destroy an Odise card and summon out the Perform Power Odise with the uh, Arc Dragon. And after you've done that, you literally just use the Perform Power Odise, fuse these two, send them to the extra deck, and then you've got not only a low scale to be able to summon out wherever you to be able to pendulum summon but you've also got a level seven if you've already got a low scale on the board so that then entails that you can have another level seven monster on the, to play so th it's really good this this engine in odd eyes in general just for the fact that it gives you a free pendulum monster to summon to fuse with uh, your performer power odd eyes and it also gives you a free scale low scale to be able to essentially allow you to go into whatever place you want there so it's just really really nice having access to this engine um in odd eyes because it gives you access for stuff with dissolver and it also gives you an access to a level seven wants to, to kind of make rank seven plays as well which is really really nice uh, especially seeing as this is like even if you just draw this and you normal summon it that's still a low scale and a level seven monster that you can use for pretty much whatever you want so yeah um those are all the monsters uh honestly i would not change the ratio in this deck i'm really really liking it like you have to you have to play three of each of the big odd eyes because you want to be able to see them um like literally you need to see arc braves uh odd eyes pendulum dragon you don't really need to see turn one but you're going to definitely want multiple in your deck so you can get that big damage off and this just giving you the additional burn damage can really push for games at times so you really need that um and then the other ratios you could potentially change like i i did debate playing two uh dissolver but i just like because it's a level eight you don't really want to draw it you want a small special summon it off the uh arc pendulum dragon so that's an option there um and i just really felt like this was the correct ratios for the deck like you definitely want to be playing two of this because you will be summoning this a lot and getting that additional level seven really is nice so yeah those are all the monsters though uh, let's go ahead and get into the spells. So for spells, we're playing uh, Triple Sky Iris. Um, this is really good. It protects your odd eyes scales. Um, uh, your, your odd eyes, performer power, whatever you want in your scales. Uh, and <coughs> Sorry, Pendulum Magician, odd eyes, or mid performer power. Uh, and why the reason you play this is, is because one, it searches any odd eyes card in the deck. So you literally destroy one card, face of card on the board and search any odd eyes card from your deck. But what it does is it has great synergy with Arc Dragon. Because all you need is to have Arc Dragon up and this, and you can essentially keep summoning as many Odd Eyes monsters from your deck as possible because of this is on the board. So literally, you're getting um, whenever you use this with uh, with uh, Arc Dragon on the board. You're essentially getting a plus one, and because you're playing a pendulum deck, you just summon the odd eyes back, and then that's a plus two. And it also gives you um, fodder to fodder to be able to use with your vortex dragon, so that's really really good as well. Just having that kind of fodder in the extra deck. So you want to be playing three of this. It's just literally any odd eyes monster in the deck, and it just gives you access to all of your odd eyes plays. Um, next, we play free spiral flame strike. Uh, this is another really good card. What this does is, um, if you control an odd eyes card, you can just destroy any card on the board. So it's a free destruction if you control. Or dies. Um, but the reason we play this is um, you can activate this card and then you can add any level 7 odd eyes monster from your deck to your hand. So you can search your uh, arc dragon, you can search your normal odd eyes, you can search your phantasm dragon, you can search any of these odd eyes monsters with this card and the one you're going to be searching normally is arc dragon. So you can then destroy another odd eyes to essentially trigger off the arc dragon effect. So yeah, really good cards, just being able to, like, the deck has so much consistency, so it's really good. Uh, and then Triple Duelist Alliance, it searches your Arc Dragon, it searches your uh, order, normal Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, so you have access into a high and a low scale whenever you want. So just so many cards to search in the deck, literally we have nine different cards to actually search in the deck. Um, the, next though, we play Triple Pop Desires, uh, drawing two cards at times is really nice, um, and if you do get those hands that can sometimes brick, then this card can potentially unbrick your hand, um, really strong card uh, in the deck in general just you don't really need uh those you don't you can you can kind of use those two draws you can get rid of like uh any bricks in your deck like if, say you've got your potentially got stuff in your deck that you don't need such as going second cards like i do play going second cards because this deck can otk um it's going first isn't as strong as it's going second but it's still really good and just having that extra draw is really really nice in this deck as well just to get that additional pendulum monster to summon uh next though we play triple dragon shrine uh send dark worm to the grave 
you can send Dark, Dark Dragon and Dark Worm to the graveyard at times as well, which is really nice because of like, say you've got a uh, two zero gate, uh, you can make an Absolute Dragon, uh, attack with the Absolute Dragon, and then detach with one of the zero gates and summon the Arc Dragon from the uh, Ordice Arc Dragon, uh, Pe Arc Pendulum Dragon from the graveyard. So you can essentially have a uh, Vortex. Uh, so you can actually, so you can have an Absolute Dragon and also an Arc Dragon on the board. So that's also a play um, where you can literally just send uh, Arc uh, Dragon, send Dark Worm as well, and then you have more resources there. So <laughs> really good card, just being able to send two, but mainly just sending uh, your Dark Worm to summon back and then get the Zero Gate from the deck. Um, we also do play, uh, just for going second purposes, we play two Lightning Storm. Uh, now, obviously, this card can be changed out for whatever you really want. Um, this is just uh, something I have, so I choose to use. But, um, like, literally, uh, this card is absolutely insane. There are, like, it's mainly there for back row purposes, because um, the thing this deck can kind of struggle with at times is back row. But this is also really good for, like, just destroying all your opponent's effect monsters on the board. So it does have that added bonus. But um, if you did want to change this for something else that could be a lot cheaper for you um cards i would suggest is cosmic cyclone because it just deals with back row as well or even dark hole uh and the reason i say dark hole is because you have a uh, arc dragon and what you can do is you can literally just normal summon your odd eyes before power odd eyes synchron your mirage dragon or a minotaur and then dark hole while this is in the extra while this is in the scale get rid of all your opponent's monsters get rid of your one odd eyes card and then get a free summon from your deck or graveyard or anywhere so nice synergy there as well but i just choose lightning storm because it's a harpy's feather duster on the opponent's back row so this is really nice when it comes up um then for one else we play one terraforming because it searches the uh sky iris uh one foolish barrel as an additional dra uh, dragon shrine just to be able to get there um one pendulum paradox now the reason we're playing pendulum paradox is because we play uh one two three monsters with different names that are the scale for um we play <laughs> uh two monsters that have different names that are scale six and we also play two monsters that have different names that are scale 8. And what Paradox basically does is you can add two face-up monsters from your extra deck with the same scale but different names. So what this essentially does is you get to just add two monsters from your extra deck for free. And this card is actually searchable via Duelist Alliance. So that's it's just a nice way to get cards from your extra deck back and just allow you to go into more plays as well. So really nice card. I really like this card in the deck and I've been testing it and it's been working really nice in the, in games. Um, and then the final spell we play is one Odd Eyes Fusion because because um, at times, if you don't have a way to get into the uh, Odai's Dissolver to be able to go ahead and make the Vortex, and your opponent could possibly control two monsters, then all you got to do is activate the Odai's Fusion, send two Odai's cards from your extra deck, and that's an instant Vortex Dragon. So yeah, really nice card as well. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the whole main deck. I really, really like the ratios I'm going with for the main deck. I've lo literally not had any issues with it, like consistency-wise. I've been really liking it, and I feel like it is a really good ratio for Odd Eyes in general. Um, but yeah, uh, for the extra deck though, um, I will be honest, like majority of the time you won't use a lot of the stuff in your extra deck, but um, you can use a lot of these, and some of these cards will come up at times, so they're in there for that reason. But let's get into it. So we're playing one Heretic, her heretic Seal. Um, because what this card does is during your opponent's turn, you can tribute it and uh, send one card on the opponent's board to the hand. And also when it's tributed, you can summon a Dragon Monster from your deck. So you can summon like a Dark Worm and add a Zero Gate, which can come up. Or you can summon like an Odd Eyes to an Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon or an Odd Eyes Phantasm Dragon just to get out your deck. So you can Pendulum summon it back, which is kind of nice. Uh, one IP for those times when you can actually make IP and then just have two downpointing arrows, potentially make a Link for free play in your opponent's turn, which would be a uh, Nightmare Unicorn to basically just compose stuff back into the deck. Um, one Black so Lost to Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, because this card can come up at times um, where you have free monsters, you can't really beat your opponent's board so you just make this card uh, attack over a monster with 3k body um, and either boost itself so your opponent can't really get over it or just banish card on the board so then they lose something for free they just lose two cards so this card can't this card isn't the best but it can come up at times and when it does come up it is really really nice um one apple loser because well, if you you can make this with like a vortex at times, it's very rare. But when you do going first, it's really good to help. Um, one Boral Sword for other OTKs outside of normal Odd Eyes stuff. But say your opponent has something you can't really be over with Odd Eyes, then you just make the Boral Sword attack and then get the damage that way. Um, 
you play uh, five level four monsters in the deck, uh, dark level four monsters in the deck, so this card can come up as well at times with like two Supreme King, Dark Worm, or like a minute, extra Minotaur in your hand. You just make this and attack for big damage. Um, one Red Eyes Metal Flare Dragon, one of the most made monsters in my extra deck because I just get that really big damage in. Make this uh, and then say, if you activate any effects, you're going to die. GG, well played. Um, so really nice card here. Uh, one Absolute Dragon because when he sends the Grievance, he summons one Odd Eyes from your extra deck, which is mainly going to be Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, which is really good for the deck. Um, also, you can summon Odd Eyes by negating attacks, which is really nice. Uh, one Dark Affiliate Dragon. Uh, because it's a rank seven, and it just steals ex it just steals opponents' uh, attack points. It like legit. It's just a free K body that you can target opponents' monsters, steal half of its attack. What's not bad about that? And also, it's a if it dies, um, you can put it in the scale, and it's a scale ten. And then, literally once per turn, while it's in the scale, uh, you can target one face up monster opponent controls and half its original attack. So, just more ways to get over mon opponents' monsters, and it's just really nice. Plus, it's rank seven, which does come up quite a bit. Um, I haven't really used it too much though. Um, but when this come when this does come up, it does help me win games. So it's really nice. Uh, for level uh, eight synchros, we play one uh, Ignista because it's literally one of the best synchros in the game. Game, being able to just destroy a pendulum, compulse anything on the board, really, really nice. Uh, one Supreme King uh, Dragon Clearwing, because this card says, I'm Raigeki, and if I battle your monster, your monster's going to die, and you're going to take its equal attack to its damage. Uh, one, Boral Savage, uh, for when you do have that Link monster in the graveyard, and you just want to make this, so you can suck it up and get a negate on your board. It does come up at times, not a lot, though. Um, and then finally, two, uh, Vortex Dragon. Uh, one to be summoned off Odo's Fusion, and then one to be summoned off Absolute Dragon. Um... I honestly have never made a third, but two is the correct number in my opinion, because if you do make one and you're not able to summon it back, then you have the second one as the backup plan. So yeah, that's the, like, this is the, this is the deck. Um, honestly, I really, really love this deck. It's a lot of fun. It has a lot of uh, cheeky combos, such as the uh, looping of the Odai's Arc Pendulum Dragon with Vortex, Odai's Vortex Dragon, um, and being able to just con consistently get a ton of boards through like, 12 to 8 different searches um, it really is a nice deck in my personal opinion and I really do enjoy this style of Pendulum deck but guys that's just uh, my thoughts and opinions on the Odd Eyes deck tell me what your thoughts are in the comment section below do you like this deck do you not like this deck I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on it because this is one of my favorite Pendulum decks of all time um, Magicians beats it out just because oh I can make Zark and I can make nuke my opponent's board but that's a story for another time. Um, but guys, tell me what your thoughts are of this deck in the question below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? it? What's your thoughts and opinions on it? I'll see you guys in the next one though. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts and and that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm just rambling on at this point. Thank you so much for watching. From about one, signing out. I will OTK you with this. No, any day. <laughs> Bye all.